everyone! Welcome to Companion Craft Corner. Today we're going to be making salt dough paw prints. They're a super fun and easy craft and they only need three ingredients. Salt, water, and flour. Warning! Please do not eat the finished product or the dough. It has high amounts of salt in it and is toxic to both pets and humans if ingested. Let's get started! Set out your ingredients. You will need two cups of flour, a half cup of salt, and three fourths a cup of warm water. Begin by preheating your oven to 172 degrees Fahrenheit. Whisk together the salt and flour, then add in the water slowly by mixing it with a rubber spatula. Um, once it starts to become a dough, you can pull it out with your hands and start kneading it on the countertop. Make sure to put down flour before you start and also put some on top so it's not sticking to your hands. Knead the dough by folding it onto itself and then pressing it out. Knead for five minutes. Once it's smooth, begin by placing flour on top and then take your rolling pin and start to slowly roll it out. Roll it a fourth of an inch to a half of an inch thick, making sure the dough is uniform and even throughout the entire piece. Sprinkle on some extra flour to ensure that the dough isn't sticky when your pet's paw is being pressed down. Take your pet's paw and press it down into the dough. Make sure you're pressing it hard enough so you can get the full outline of your pet's paw. I'd suggest asking a friend for help because sometimes it can be tricky doing it all on your own. Then it's time to cut it out. You can use a cookie cutter or a knife. The shape doesn't matter as long as you like how it looks. Keep in mind the size of your pet's paw and also where you plan to put it when you're finished. This is how my first two turned out. To continue making more paw prints, just roll up the dough and continue using it as if it was never cut up in the first place. Again, make sure to lightly flour the surfaces both above and beneath the dough. Depending on the size of your pet's paw, you can make the dough thicker or thinner. Again, cut out the shapes you would like. And if you're worried about your pet licking their paw or of them getting salt or flour on their paw, you can just put saran wrap over top of the dough and it will make sure that their paw is staying fresh and clean. I would suggest trying to get as many paw prints as you can as you can always weed out the ones you don't like and choose your favorites in the end. Take your paw prints and set them on a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper. Let them sit out for about an hour so the dough has time to set. If you want to be able to hang your paw print, take a straw or a chopstick and poke a small hole at the top. Bake in the oven at 170 degrees, calculating the amount of time by adding an hour for every fourth inch of dough. They're going to need a long time to dry in the oven. If the temperature is too high or they're left in for too long of a time, things can happen such as cracking, puffing, or browning. In general, it's better to leave them in for longer at a lower temperature than shorter at a higher temperature. If you're worried about messing it up in the oven, you can also air dry it. Although, it might take a little longer. Now it's time for the fun part, decorating. You can use acrylic paint to paint them any color you want. You can keep it simple by just outlining the paw print or coloring it in, but if you want to get fancy or creative, you can go as wild as your imagination will let you. No matter what you decide to do, make sure you seal the paw print with Mod Podge. There's a ton of different types of Mod Podge, so if you're not into glossy or you want something matte or waterproof, don't worry, they've got it. Another idea is to use glitter. Mod Podge can work as a glue, so if you put Mod Podge down and then put some glitter on top of it, then it'll create a fancy looking glitter paw. Make sure you seal the top of that glitter though with Mod Podge as well. Another cool way to use Mod Podge is to print out some photos of your pet on printer paper and then Mod Podge them to the back of the piece or the front, whatever you want. But it's important to make sure you lay down a solid foundation of Mod Podge before, keep it wet, and then put the photo on top and then Mod Podge over that to seal it. When you apply the Mod Podge, it may look milky or kind of white, but don't worry, it dries clear. So that's it. Here's a few ideas. I made a monster, I made just a regular paw print, I added a little bit of glitter on this one, and on this one I put a few photos of my cat and his little tiny paw. Oh, it's really cute. And then this one's just a regular one. It's plain. It's more natural to hang in a car. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Just remember the paw prints can be as simple or as complicated as you want. If you just wanted a simple a paw print to hang maybe on your dashboard, just to remind you of your dog, then make a simple one with just the paw print outlined. It doesn't matter. It's just a keepsake for you to remember your pup wherever you are, whenever you want to. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for the next video where I'll be showing you guys how to make a water dish mat or a food dish mat out of used and old t-shirts.